Rebel with a Cause, Mark Twain's Hidden Memoirs, Chapter 6, Summers at Quarles' Farm, from 1843. In my early boyhood, I spent the summers at my Uncle John Quarles' farm in the village of Florida, the hamlet of my birth. I learned the art of storytelling partly from my mother, but also from an old slave named Dan, who lived on my Uncle John's place. Everyone called this slave Uncle Daniel. I can still recall the look of Uncle Daniel's kitchen as it was on the privileged nights when I was a child. And I can see the white and black children grouped on the hearth, with the firelight playing on their faces and the shadows flickering upon the walls, clear back toward the cavernous gloom of the rear, and I can hear Uncle Daniel telling the immortal tales which Uncle Remus Harris was to gather into his books and charm the world with by and by. My learning how to tell a story from Dan was not just in manner and technique. There was a particular story that I smouched from him. This was the story of the Golden Arm, with which I entertained and edified household guests and lecture audiences for decades. Uncle Daniel never failed to get a rise out of the hair on our head and to send a delicious tingle of fright up and down our spine as he suddenly sprung the climax of that tale on one of us listeners, even when we had heard it before. There I learned the supreme power of the properly timed pause. No word was ever as effective as a rightly timed pause. It was on the farm that I got my strong liking for Uncle Daniel's race and my appreciation of certain of its fine qualities. This feeling and this estimate have stood the test of sixty years and more and have suffered no impairment. The black face is as welcome to me now as it was then. Editor's Notes Many of the things that Twain heard and experienced over several summers at Coral's Farm in Missouri in the 1840s heavily influenced what he wrote over the course of many summers at Quarry Farm in New York three and four decades later in the 1870s and 1880s. One thing in particular was that Uncle Daniel was the model for Huckleberry Finn's traveling companion and friend, the runaway slave, Jim. The Uncle Remus Harris to whom Twain refers above is Joel Chandler Harris, author of the Uncle Remus Tales. In 1895, Twain wrote an essay entitled How to Tell a Story, wherein he used as an example the telling of the golden arm, particularly the impeccable and audience-specific timing of the pause. 